My name is David Aguilar. I am 20 years old. I'm a bioengineering student in Barcelona. I built my first prosthetic with Lego bricks when I was nine years old. My first time playing with Lego bricks was at five years old and I was building a boat. I was really proud because that was like my first big toy and I played around like for five months and it was really fun because um, I could modify anything I wanted from the boat. Growing up was a bit difficult because I saw myself as different but I mean, I think this is really cool. Of course, sometimes it can be hard, but you can overcome it very easily. When I was 18 years old, I built my first Lego Technic prosthetic. It was my first time building something with Lego Technic around my arm. I think it turned pretty well because I was going very slow in order to, okay, this can fit here, this Lego beam can go here. It has this little turning mechanism that fixed my arm into the prosthetic so it doesn't fall or you cannot steal it. <laughs> It was one week of building in my room because I wanted to do something big with Lego bricks. And the last day of building, my parents, I went downstairs to show them. I did a push-up in front of them. They told me we are astonished of what you did. I was astonished as well because I didn't think I could build a prosthetic with Lego Technic. It was my first time doing something like someone with both arms uh, could do. And it was, I think, one of the coolest moments in my life. The next day of finishing the prosthetic, I went to school and I spent the whole day with the prosthetic on. It was really cool because it was the first time I, I was proud of people looking at me constantly. As I kept building prosthetics, it was easier and easier. The first one, the MK1, I built it in one week. The MK2 was built in two days. My third model, the MK3, was built in 10 hours. And the MK4 was built in 9 hours. So it's like this challenge of going faster, but also knowing what you are doing. You usually see uh, LEGO Creator sets that have maybe three or two models on the box. But as I play with LEGO every day since I'm a child, I actually see hundreds of thousands of models in the box. And if you combine these possibilities with other LEGO sets, you can build something nobody's ever seen. LEGO gave me this uh, ability, and that's why I want to be uh, the one that builds a prosthetic that's functional, looks good, and maybe it can grow with you. What LEGO does to me and to other people, it opens your mind. So my dream is to keep inspiring people with LEGO, with my background story, and I hope to rebuild this world. Mm -hmm.